This is Major Charles W. Sweeney of Quincy, Massachusetts. Give us some of the details of the whole flight. Uh, we were briefed on, uh, of course, a primary and a secondary target as usual. The primary target was located and uh, we made uh, three runs on it but were unable to get into it. Commander Ashworth and I held a little conference with the bombardier and the navigator and uh, we started for the secondary target, which was Nagasaki. This is Captain Kermit K. Behan of Houston, Texas, bombardier. Captain Behan, what was your most outstanding experience on this historic flight? I suppose it was when the clouds opened up over the target at Nagasaki. The target was there pretty as a picture. I made the run, let the bomb go. That was my greatest thrill. Oppenheimer quotes the Hindu scriptures, mm -hmm. Truman quotes biblical prophecy. They're equally awed and equally troubled. By the time you guys began to learn about what had been achieved and what you were delivering, did you have the same sorts of conscious thoughts? No, I didn't have any conscious thoughts about this thing. As far as I was concerned, it was something that we had been trained for, and it was something that had to be The military out. man's sense of mission. That's right. Sense of duty. Are the memories fond memories or ambivalent memories? As my ears get oh, get on me, they're not that fond. I have grandchildren, and I, I put myself in the in the. Sometimes I put myself in the position of being on the ground with grandchildren. It mm -hmm. hurts. Mm -hmm. But the, I also remember those that didn't come back, friends of mine. That hurts too. Have you ever felt guilt over your participation in these raids? Uh, no, I truthfully can't say I did. Would you take part in another atomic raid? If necessary, I would.